Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So nice to have you here. So for today I'm going to be talking about how do you get over other people's perceptions over you? How do you stop obsessing over what other people think about you? How do you stop thinking about other people's approval and validation? Now this is an issue we all go through. So I'm just here to provide you with four tips and ways for you to just get over what other what you think other people think about you. Number one, understand that your life can only be led by you. At the end of the day, nobody else can live your life but you. Yes, you can think about how other, other people are perceiving you, or you can spend your time worrying about what other people think about you. But honestly, you'd be wasting your time. You would really be wasting your time because at the end of the day, nobody can live their life for you. Nobody can live your own life but you. So you have to really focus on what it is that you want. What is it that you want to do? What is it that makes you happy? What is it is that brings that authentic you out? And for me, my authenticity is always the ability for me to express myself in ways that bring me joy and fulfillment. That has always been my authentic living. So you have to figure out what is that authenticity look like to you. And just stop wondering about what other people think because they can't live their life for you and they don't know what makes you happy you are the one that decides about what makes you happy you are the one that gets to choose what path that you want to take your life to so know that nobody can live your own life but you so focus on what it is that you want to do and focus on what it is that brings you joy number two understand that nobody has a perfect life now I know that due to this social media age, people can just easily get deceived and think that everybody has this perfect life, everybody is living better off than them. But hello, I will keep telling you people again and again, we are all human beings. And because we are all human beings, that means we all go through our own challenges and difficulties. Nobody has a perfect life. I know some people can even look at me and they see me smiling, they see me looking good. <laughs> and they think that I have a perfect life. But no, I don't have a perfect life. Have you read my blog post from the past? Have you watched my videos? I've talked about so many of my challenges and difficulties. I've talked about how growing up I used to feel very insecure and I never felt as though I was good enough. I've talked about how many times I've failed in my career choices. I've talked about how the things I want in life, I'm still aspiring with for my goals and my dreams. My life is hardly perfect. And nobody else has a perfect life. We are all going through our own challenges and difficulties and we are all just trying to figure things out. So please don't allow your own perception of somebody just looking outside to think that you know what is going on in their own inner world. No, we all have our own challenges and difficulties. Please don't allow social media to deceive you. We are all human beings and we are all just trying to figure things out and lead our best life. Hello. <laughs> now, number three. Understand that no one arrives at their destination immediately. Sometimes the reason why we keep comparing our lives to other people is because we think that so many people have arrived and we, we are wondering when we are going to arrive. I know me, even sometimes I worry about that. I'm in my late twenties, I'm still young, but sometimes I tell myself people who are younger than me, their blog is already bigger, their brand influence is already bigger, and me, I'm still here struggling, you know? I'm still here trying to figure out my blog, my brand, and taking my own writing goals, and taking it forward, and one day becoming an author. So I'm still trying to figure things out, and sometimes I compare my life to other people who are younger than me, and who've already gotten further. But the truth is that God has a plan for each and every person. So I can't compare my path to somebody else. When I will arrive at a certain stage is when I'll arrive at a certain stage. I just have to focus on my own process, my own journey and growth. and know that I've grown from the who I was in the past to who I am now. I'm much stronger, I'm much wiser, I'm much bolder, I'm much confident, and I'm looking a lot better too. <laughs> so let me just tell you, focus on your inner growth. Don't just focus on outward experience. Don't just focus on outward things and think about, you know, who, who is looking at you or this and that or who has it better off. Focus on your own path and your own journey and how you've grown and developed along the way. I know that we are each on our own individual journey, so stop comparing your own path to somebody else. No, their life is their own life and your own life is your own life, you know? Stay on your lane, girl. Stay on your lane. <laughs> now, lastly, one way to help you really just get over what other people think about you, wondering about how other people perceive you, is to understand that, honey, sometimes, let's just be real, people are more focused on their own problems than they are on you, okay? Because when I was younger, I used to just think that, oh my God, everybody's watching me, they're seeing my mistakes, they're seeing my challenges. And you know what? Yeah, sometimes people are seeing my mistakes and challenges, 
But at the end of the day, when they go home and they sleep at night, they are probably thinking about their own issues. They are probably thinking about their own challenges. They are probably thinking about their own family. They are probably thinking about their own relationship. They are probably thinking about their own job. Because you, how often do you spend time thinking about somebody else? I mean, maybe you do. Maybe you're one of those people that spends time thinking about somebody else. <laughs> but most people are more focused on developing themselves, working towards their own goal, having the life they envision for themselves. So please, I'm not trying to offend you, but I just want you to open your eyes, shine your eyes really well, and understand that often not, people are more focused on themselves than they are on you, you know? We are all trying to just figure out our own life. So those are just my tips on how to really get over your fears of what other people think about you or how other people perceive you. Number one, know that your life can only be led by you. Number two, understand that no one has a perfect life. Number three, know that no one arrives at their destination immediately. We are all on our own journey and path in this life. And number four, know that, honey, people are more focused on their own challenges though, than your own wahala. Please, just understand that. <laughs> Please. So that's just it, people. Thank you so much for watching my video. A little update. So I've been sharing this flyer on Girl Talk with Izzy. And I'm no longer be going to be doing this on Instagram live due to, you know, in Nigeria doing like internet connection is always a challenge. So having that live session, as much as I like the idea, it's a difficulty with internet challenge. So I'm not going to be doing it on Instagram live anymore. However, the idea still, still stands and the series is going to be moved over to IGTV. As the lockdown restrictions are, you know, lessening in Nigeria, I'll be getting back in touch with my videographer and we have a set location where we usually do interviews. So I'll be reaching out to more people and, you know, we'll be doing some chats and discussions. I know you've watched my um, interviews from the past, you know, I did the interview with the fashion blogger Payami and also with the entrepreneur Ebuka. So I'll be doing more interviews, you know, girl talk with Izzy. And it's gonna be awesome people it's gonna be good so thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you on my next video peace